Hello everyone and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. There are fewer things in the church more revolting to listen to or see than woke bishops. They're just the latest evolution in the class of men who began as social justice warriors and simply morphed into the next phase. Take, for example, the Archbishop of San Antonio, Texas, Gustavo Garcia Siller, a poster boy for the woke crap we see everywhere. And before we get into specifics about him, consider that all of these terms are nothing other than dog whistles for communism. Woke, social justice, socialism, equity, and any other substitute word that comes to mind. It's communism, plain and simple. And communists create and use and deploy every imaginable weapon they can in their attempt to gain global domination. It's done through a combination of seizing on naturally occurring events, like the weather, and then insisting that global domination must be exerted to gain control of the climate. Then there are the other types of events that have actually been engineered by them, and then, of course, immediately exploited things like violence, illegal immigration, decrying a lack of gun control. And since the communists control the major media outlets as well, they have almost complete control of the narrative, labeling anything that exposes them and their plan as disinformation, which of course must then be censored in cooperation with the government, of course. The major media outlets are all liars and are the major component, the single driving force which makes the destruction of a nation possible. Turning now specifically to the case of the Archbishop of San Antonio, the past few days has been troubling for the state of Texas with mass shootings. The media, of course, are pumping out headlines that white supremacy is at fault, despite the fact that one of the killers is a four-time deported Mexican national. But, of course, that doesn't matter to the media or apparently the Archbishop. For Garcia Siller, the culprit is the guns, not the illegal immigrant and potential gang members gunning down white people. Over the weekend, in one 24-hour window, Garcia Siller tweeted 14 tweets in 24 hours, 14 tweets decrying a lack of gun control, blaming guns, not the person holding and firing the guns for all of the violence and the killing. At one point, in likely his most revealing tweet, he said this, Who approves guns and therefore killings? Who? Who? We've had enough. For some it is not. There are some that do not mind. May our political leaders do something to improve the killing today. I'm sure that's not exactly what he meant. Let us ask them, how are you stopping killing today? How? Well, aside from the patent absurdity of his comment, it's also massively insulting. The association of those who simply approve of guns with an approval of killing. Seriously? So in this nut job's mind, if you approve of and presumably own a gun, you therefore automatically approve of mass shootings and killings. What? He underscores his madness, doubling down on it, and saying, there are some who do not mind. Hey, Bishop, get this through your woke skull. Law-abiding, tax-paying citizens, citizens who have guns are not the reason for mass shootings. Woke policies you support, cloaking them in religiosity, those are the reasons. Americans have had guns since forever, and lots of them. They don't go around shooting people in malls and blowing away innocent bystanders and victims. Wake up. Either the archbishop is a moron or so emotional over the obviously tragic shootings, or he is part of the problem, a willing participant in the ideology that has brought America to its knees. How come mass shootings have increased so much? Because there are more guns? No. It's because there are more fanatics being created by woke policies. Some of them are legal fanatics, others are illegal, as in illegal immigrant fanatics. In 2022, most mass shootings were related to gang violence, robberies, neighborhood disputes, etc., and domestic disputes. The mentally disturbed lone gunmen are outliers. Why aren't you campaigning swiftly to deport illegal aliens, Archbishop? On a policy level, you are crusading to make it easier for criminals to immigrate here, where they partake in gun violence. What about leftist Cook County District Attorney Kim Fox, who had no problem letting murderers and rapists out of prison? 
contributing to a crime spike in the city of Chicago. If you seriously want to end the violence and the killings where guns are being used, Archbishop, then you would agree to policies which reduce the number of fanatics, not the number of guns. Even among lone gunmen, take a look at the Nashville shooting as an example. That wasn't some gun-toting, right-wing, white male extremist with a gun, Yosemite Sam, bang, bang, bang. It was a wild-eyed trans activist who wrote a lengthy manifesto about hating Christianity. A manifesto that even to this day, law enforcement refuses to release because they're still <clears throat> investigating. And of course, the media, as part of Operation Cover-Up, has completely moved on. In virtually every one of these cases of a mass shooting, the killers turn out to be either illegal immigrants, violent criminals, or prosecutors who refuse to prosecute these deviants who are so stuck in their political beliefs that they justify mass killings. In no case is it some normal dude to the family just making a living. Yet, these are who Garcia Siller demonizes as part of the problem. You own a gun, you're a bad person. The murderous fanatics who are actually doing the shootings are created by woke policies because communism does not care about people. It cares about power and control. That a bishop in the church refuses to see this and goes on continually coming out in favor of more wokeness tells you everything you need to know about the state of the world. Garcia Siller, who is so concerned with justice, is also the same bishop who kicked a small group of faithful nuns out of his archdiocese a couple years ago. As revenge for losing a battle in Rome over control of the parish where they had been stationed for nine years and collecting donations to build a convent and a monastery. To finance themselves, the good sisters embarked on a soap-making business. Terrific smelling soaps, which we sell here in our church militant store to help them out and help us, of course, too. They were well on their way to establishing their monastery on a donated piece of land of 300 acres, which they gave us a tour of until Archbishop Justice ripped the rug out from under them and ordered them out of his archdiocese again because he's so into justice and concern for victims and he loves people so much. We scrolled back quite a ways on his Twitter page and could not find a single tweet decrying abortion, which claims thousands of victims just here in America every day, and certainly not 14 tweets in a single 24-hour window. So if you're a baby or a sweet little nun, to hell with you. If you're an honest citizen who poses no threat of going on a mass shooting spree, well, to hell with you too. Ah, but if you're a wokester who wants to get rid of guns in an effort to help usher in communism, well then by all means, step right up here to the front of the line and we will mourn together at the current level of injustice. Beware these woke bishops, every one of them. And that includes their brother bishops who just sit back and remain silent about their propaganda. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.